Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the School of Science. My name is Luke and this is the Everton Stadium update for the 15th of September 2023. Now as we go over the site today, just a very quick one just to uh, fix a comment I made last week. So when I mentioned that the Hydraulic Tower seemed to have a massive gaping hole in the front, that was a bit of a mistake on my front. What they've really done is they've removed a couple of the doors where the engine room is or was and they're doing a little bit of alteration there. One thing I did actually notice as well, there's a little staircase there leading up to the second tier, so it'll be interesting to see what they can actually do with that. I mean, it wouldn't go too far if they were to split it up, so you have one half being a cafe and one half being like a well, like smaller shame, you know, like match day club shop. They could get away with that, I think, and they probably do quite well in that regard. Um, but as we look over the east stand today, so the main difference is really is just mostly so we've got another um, barrel, well not barrel truss, sorry, a cantilever truss placed in there. And just looking over the east stand itself, there isn't too much in terms of like major standout stuff. A lot of the stuff really is just like more glass getting fitted, uh, more framework getting done around where like the window areas and all that are. Now, a lot of people have been saying that the very front of the stadium there where the outcrop is on the east stand, it's going to be a club shop. Now, myself, I would not say that's really the case. I would expect that to be more of an entrance towards a hospitality area. But time will tell. Let's see what they actually go about with that one. But in my opinion, I think it's the hospitality entrance. Now, as we go over the south stand today, I have actually made an effort to... <laughs> Make sure if I, I get as low as I can without really being too much of a nuisance. I'm kind of, right at the moment, I'm sitting about 60 meters high, but I've got an angle depth of about negative 20 in order to try and catch as much as I can, as low as I can, whilst also respecting distances of the tradespeople who are actually on site at the moment. So you can see that there's a little bit more framework that's actually going on around the middle piece there. So it's a lot more of the framing is coming along now. So from the looks of things, there's only really one little section left to go and they'll start putting a little bit more glass in in that regard. Now, just very quickly, so what's going to be happening over the course of the next couple of months? So the North Stand now is going to be getting a top layer of clad and put into place and apparently the South Stand, so I was wrong on that front. I was expecting it to be the West Stand and then probably even the East Stand and the South Stand being last. But the South Stand's actually going to be getting the clad and put on very soon as well, so... That is one that we will definitely have to keep an eye out for. Now, you will actually see this in a sec when we actually move over to the standard view. But you can actually, it's very faint and it's kind of hard to see, but you can actually see a little bit of the uh, netting and everything. So the safety stuff and health and safety stuff getting put into place for the south stand. So that one's going to be an interesting one to keep an eye out for over the course of the coming weeks. Because I think once the North Stand's top clad goes into place, they're going to move directly to the South Stand immediately. So what's probably going to happen is the safety stuff will be getting put into place whilst the North Stand is getting completed. And then they should just hop from one to the other very quickly. So they want to try and keep things going with that. Because once the winter months set in, uh, daylight hours are going to come very very short and as we know the adverse weather around the winter is kind of brutal especially when you're on the river side of things but overall everything is as i said it's coming along nicely so one thing very quickly to mention mr nick from mr drone uk does actually say that apparently there's going to be somewhere between 700 to 750 wireless access points dotted around the stadium itself they're going to be very small little white boxes that you'll see and the ones that are sticking out at the moment are around the east and west stand. And where they're sitting is kind of just like between the seats and everything. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Because I would expect them to be almost merged in around the likes of the south and north stand. Because it, it, it runs a risk of accidentally getting kicked in all honesty. But it's going to be interesting to see how the internet was actually cope. Because I'm going to assume, I'm not an expert when it comes to network or anything like that. Especially when it comes to something as large as a stadium and dealing with nearly 52 to 53,000 people on site there. But the internet demand from that, let's say for argument's sake, one tenth of them are demanding internet via the uh, wireless system that they've got in place. It's, it's going to be extremely demanding, to say the very least. And 10 gigabits spread over 5,000 people to even 10,000 people. It's going to be very interesting to see how much you would get in the long run because I'm not going to do off-the-cuff math. I'm just thinking of it very, very quickly. 
it's looking at like maybe one megabit you'll probably get about that much if they're going off one line but that could potentially be spread over three or four 10 gigabit lines spread over the course of the stadium but as we now quickly look over the west stands i do apologize i did that little ramble there the interesting thing is where the northwest corner is um one thing i've been noting the extension that they're doing there i've got a feeling that might actually have something to do with the media piece that is actually in that little corner you can actually see it from here but from what i remember that is going to be pretty much like the when you watch tnt sports or sky sports or anything like that and they have like the post match and they're looking over into the stadium that's pretty much that little studio there so i think they are actually doing a bit of an extension of that to try and accommodate for them but as we go for the north sam right now we're doing the lower one to start things out and looking at it right now we can see that there's a lot more glass that's gone into place and one thing that nick as well i would like to thank him very much for putting these videos out because he actually gets a lot of detail whereas me with me little first gen mavic mini i'm only able to get so much but you can actually see it there just behind where the concrete terracing is there's little dividers that are getting put into place now i'm curious what's actually going to sit behind there whether it's just going to be an empty cavity space or whether there's something that's going to be in there whether it, whether it be you know like a simple form of hospitality which i don't expect it to be because you got the hospitality below or whether it be like you know sort of like corridors to move between seats and everything but it'll be interesting to see what they can actually do with that now in regards to turnstiles you can actually see them the gaps between where the um, black bars and where the black bars and the windows are they are actually meant to be um, your turnstile areas sorry i had to mind blank there so yeah, so apparently they are actually going to have um, turnstiles in there. There's going to be a few of them, but not as many as what you've got around Goodison. So there's going to be a, a few less for more fans, but I would expect it to flow a lot more smoothly just for the fact that the turnstiles in Goodison, they are rickety old things, I will say. And I don't like to talk smack about Goodison. It's a lovely old stadium, but they are definitely something that would have needed upgrading soon if we weren't moving at any point in the near future. Because they're just, they're a pain in the rear to deal with, I'll be honest. But now as we go over the North Sand right now, so we can see right now, you can actually see um, there are things getting put into place for the final bit of cladding. So you've had about two or three layers that have actually been sitting for the base layer. And you can also see like small little lines that run across the sheets right now. So those are going to be the holding points for the final top layer of cladding to get put onto. So we're probably going to start seeing that very soon. Now, whether it's something that can be rolled out, almost like a sort of canopy sort of thing, or whether it be, you know, maybe um, slats or anything like that, you know, like metal slats that go into place. Uh, it's anyone's guess, to tell you the God's honest truth. I'm going to make a guess and say slats. In all honesty, I wouldn't think a rollout canopy would be a good thing to have when it comes to the north stand or any stand in that regards being the top layer because that would just be at the whims of the weather but as a whole things are moving rather nicely on the stadium even if things in the team aren't going as smoothly as can be but in any case guys i'd like to thank you all so much for watching i do apologize with this one being a little later than usual it's just you know what life's like sometimes but in any case guys i'd like to thank you all again for watching hope you have a great week and peace